Hey Aquarius, this is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot doing your January 2019 love reading. So, um, Happy New Year. I hope everyone had a good holiday season. Even though I'm putting this video out before Christmas, uh, you know, you'll watch it when you watch it. And um, for those of you who are listening at the end of January, happy birthday to you. Okay. I said Aquarius, right? Aquarius. So let's see what the energies are, what's happening for Aquarians for January 2019. I'm using the Rider Waite tarot deck here. So give me just one sec. All right. You're starting with the moon crossed by the four of swords. You have the six of swords past position, the Knight of Wands, Five of Cups, Three of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, Ace of Wands, and the Nine of Pentacles with the King of Pentacles in the outcome position. All right, let me just try to move this so you guys can see it. Okay, I think that's good. Good enough, right? I'll show you the cards if you can't see it. Okay, past position, Knight of Wands, fiery, passionate energy, sexual energy. Someone probably came in and left in your life, okay? Male or female, fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, doesn't have to be, just could be someone with that energy where, you know, they're just kind of like in and out. They came in and then they left. In fact, they may have been like that in and out of your life, back and forth, okay? The Knight of Wands is a very lust, lusty kind of a card. It's a lusty type of an individual, someone who is just very driven. Could be someone in their 30s or just have younger energy about them. Very fiery. I'm picking up Aries. Doesn't have to be. Um, this is someone maybe who came to see you or you went to see them. But there is just this energy of someone, you know, they, I just felt like they were kind of in and out. And the present, though, is like they're gone. It's almost like there's a disappearance here. January, I haven't heard from them. Haven't heard from them in a little while. The moon card, so you could have been dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer. Um This person, I feel like, is just really not communicating with you or isn't communicating with you in January. They came in and they left and they just disappeared. And it could be your energy, too, where neither one of you are speaking at this time. You might hear, like, a little bit from this person or they may, you know, you might hear some things about what's going on with them. But, you know, you, you may be connected to this person in some way. Maybe you're connected on social media or uh, like Facebook, or maybe you see, if you use Snapchat, maybe you see their snaps once in a while, or their story, or once in a while they post something, but they're kind of like in disappearance mode. You know, they're just, with the Four of Swords and the challenge benefit position, I actually feel like this is a good thing. I actually feel like this is a good thing. Um, but there's secrets and mysteries, and sometimes the moon can represent lies. So there's a difficulty in trying to understand, like, I feel like some of you are just saying to yourself, what the hell happened? Like, what, what was that? You know, I don't know what the past history was with this person. And I could take a look here and clarify this Knight of Wands energy. Now, this person was juggling quite a few people, or they were just kind of like, Maybe they were focused on work. They didn't have time for a relationship. They weren't really trying to, like, connect with you in that way. They were just kind of, like, hit it and quit it, that kind of energy, you know. And they may have been juggling another person as well. There could have been somebody else in their life. So now they're just in this disappearance mode, you know. And I feel like you right now are wanting to go see them or you're wanting to get in touch with them with the six of swords here it's a little bit of travel but you, you're fearful about it you, like you want to reach out to them and just kind of like send a message and just be like hey what's up or you know anything a phone call something 
you know um, you feel like it would do you good so that you could gain a little bit of clarity because you just want like I don't feel like you want to know like a hundred percent every single thing but I feel like you just want to know like something anything hear anything because the five of cups is here and this is telling me that there's an energy of feeling sad um, like you you're missing them a little bit you know you feel saddened I think maybe you really some, something about them you have really enjoyed or maybe you're getting to know them for a while and then they just kind of disappeared or they ghosted you and I feel like you you feel hopeless now your, your thought process is, you know, I don't, you're not going to hear from them. There's chaos and turmoil going on within your heart and your emotions. And so I feel like it, sometime, like, going further into January, you're waiting for communication. You're still waiting for communication from this person with the Three of Wands here. You're waiting to see if they're going to hear or say anything to you because you might communicate with them or send them a message or maybe you have um, send them some kind of a message to say hey what's up what's going on where you been that kind of thing but I don't feel like they're re they'll be replying I feel like you'll be waiting to hear back And I see you here really wanting to make an offer to them with the Ace of Pentacles. Like you want to make a solid offer. I feel like some of you are, I guess, maybe blaming yourself or thinking that this had something to do, like you're questioning yourself. Did you do or say something wrong? Was it you? What, you know, you're questioning, you're doubting yourself. But I feel like that's not, you didn't do anything wrong. I feel like this person may have had somebody else that they were, juggling back and forth it was between you and them and they were just kind of like testing the waters with you just to see if there was something there okay and you but you here with the ace of pentacles i feel like you want to offer an even bigger pentacle like you want to entice them or you know ask them if they want to get together or go out to dinner or do or reconnect or something in some way yeah, because you're still seeing that there's potential here between the two of you now this person, they have the nine of pen, or I'm sorry, the nine of wands. So this person is kind of like strategizing right now. They're, they actually, if you send them a text message or send them a message to reach out, you're waiting to hear back from them. They got the message. They just don't know what to do with it. They just don't know how to respond. They're trying to figure it out. This person... <laughs> I feel like this person was in um, a connection with someone else that it was very negative or it was damaging to them, but they can't seem to get out of this, this connection with this person. And, and them coming to you is a good thing for them. They might be in an abusive relationship or connected to someone who they, like they're having trouble letting go of, but they're battered and bruised, but they can't seem to give up that connection with that person. Yeah, the Ace of Cups. They do see a potential here with you, okay? They do know that there is something, that there was something. They they do feel it. They do see that you're offering this beautiful cup of love and the Ace of Pentacles to something solid. But they're, con they're in contemplation mode in January, trying to figure out if they want to reach out to you. You've got three Aces here in this spread. They don't know what to do. They don't know how to respond. They don't know what to say. They don't know if they should tell you what truly has been going on or if they should bring it up again. This is a wounded warrior card. This person, look, he's got like a bandage on his head. Um, this person is like, <laughs> they got their guard up. They're trying to get their strength back to figure out what they want to do. I honestly feel that way. You're hoping that you're going to hear from them. Some of you had a sexual relationship with this person. Could have been like a friends with benefits kind of thing. And part of you is hoping that that can be reestablished again. Some of you are just wanting that passion back. And you're hoping that they will become passionate with you again. Okay. Some of you could be dealing with another Aquarius. But you're hoping that they will share. They will pour everything out to you and express themselves 
don't worry so much about the signs. You know who your person is. So whoever the sign is, you know, try not to fret about what I say. Because if I tell you what the sign is and then that's not your person, you're just going to be like, well, this isn't for me. And that's not necessarily true. This, this reading is for you if it resonates. It doesn't matter what the sign is, okay? Um, but you're, you have a lot of faith. You're hoping that they will come back to you. This is what you're hoping for. And I feel like, too, that this person is also here with the three of pentacles, or three of wands, trying to make a decision. They're waiting to see what the best thing to do for them is. And this is a three. They're waiting about um, if they should communicate back to you. They don't know what to say. The outcome is the king of pentacles and the nine of pentacles. So I feel like if, if this is in the form of your advice, Aquarius, it's probably best, especially if you're dealing also, you could be dealing with an earth sign. It's probably best for you at this time to focus on your money and your abundance right now. Because I just feel like there's this waiting energy happening here in um, January. I don't feel like you're going to hear back from this person. They don't know what to say. They don't know if they should reach out. They're not sure which direction to go. Um, they're, they're, they... This person, the only thing they know how to do is focus on work right now. And I feel like that's the best energy for you as well. Finances and career. Okay, so this person is definitely not addressing these issues. They're not focusing on um, how to fix things. They're contemplating it, but they're not. I don't see them making any moves in January to reach out to you and try to fix anything or repair or start over again or, you know, try to have that energy again with you. And, you know, that's okay because you don't know what's going to happen in February. I just feel like it's, it's probably best for you to just, you know, if you want to wait for this person to reach out to you, Go ahead and wait, but make sure you're focusing on yourself and the things that you need to do in your own personal life, okay? Um, all right, that's going to be your reading. I know it's short and sweet, but hopefully that it will help you in some way, and I will talk to you guys in February. All right, bye.